South Carolina is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Zips in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself, and I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome, and I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46. run up the middle. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That makes it seven and six. down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He'll get the call again. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. inbounds to make a nice catch. Kirk, he's really got a lot of confidence in his receiver. Yeah, I think he does, but in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver can make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Complete and he stopped immediately. Number 45 brings us down at the 22 yard line. That makes it second and six. Watch 14, watch 14. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Black five, black five. And it's caught. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. That brings up second and goal. From the 11-yard line, second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go! Now he's scrambling. He keeps it. Touchdown, Gamecocks. What made this so impressive was first, his ability to see where the space was to run, and then the athletic ability to get it into the end zone. He makes the PAT. So an eight play, 54 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. South Carolina's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, 
get your offense out there. They move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That's a game of three on the run. That'll bring up third and inches. Two. And down he goes, around the 45-yard line. That's a game of ten on the play. First, First down. down. You're not ready. You're not ready. Hey, check. Check. Go. Check. Let's go. Let's go. And he shoved out of bounds at the 47 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Intercepted. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. And he's taken down at the 40. Number two brings him down from the 40 yards. First down. Let's go. Hey, check, check, Mike, 11, check, Mike. Way. Taken down in the backfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Feel the pressure and he fumbles the football. Tackle made around the 48 yard line. now after the sack. Goes right, picked off. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. South Carolina is up seven. He airs it out. Throws complete, he's got room to work. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Gamecocks are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you have talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. ten. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's tackled at about the 45. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Gets it out quickly. 
and he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. First down. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 33-yard line. That's a gain of 13 yards. First down. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. They'll bring him down at the 25. That's a game of eight on the play. That brings him second and one. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle around the 15 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 15 yard line. That makes it first and ten. There are three quarters remaining. The game pack lead it by two touchdowns. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Touchdown, Akron. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. South Carolina up seven points. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 46. Black five, black five, green nine. Quick throw. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 37 yard line. First down. And he's tackled right away. Quick out to his receiver. Well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. And he just gets rid of it. They're about four yards away here on third down. And they make the stop around the 18 yard line. Tackle. 
And this play is number eight on the drive. South Carolina is up a score. Got a man tackled for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. That'll make it fourth and ten. South Carolina is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Fires out to his receiver. That'll make it second and inches. Tackled for a loss. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. Not a huge play, but an effective play nonetheless. Be able to pick up a first down. And again, this offense right now just making good decisions, moving the sticks, and maintaining possession of the football. He goes out of bounds at the 31 yard line. That'll make it second to seven. Going long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. They'll line it up again on third down. And a quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. South Carolina has put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Scrambling around, and down he goes around the 21-yard line. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. Down here, Brad, by this offense, the receivers running the football 
You gotta think as a defensive coordinator, it's one thing to try to defend it, kind of your, your, your traditional offensive attack, but here you gotta start worrying about what is this wide receiver gonna do? It puts a lot of pressure on the defense and the defensive mindset on how they wanna try to slow this offense down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. Level at the 36. Kill, kill. And two. Red two. Five wide. He's on the run. And he hits him hard at the 32. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody opened downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it! They're probably just gonna squib this kick. I don't think they wanna see the return man create lightning before halftime. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. The Gamecocks with a 13-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm not sure many people saw that one coming. This team was supposed to take... I thought this was your lock of the week, Reese Davis. Uh, it was, and that shows you why I should leave the picking to you, because uh, <laughs> this, this was not a good selection. I didn't think there was any way that this team would come into halftime and be down by two scores. Uh, nobody did. I mean, I, I don't see how you, how you got to this point. I, I don't even understand it. I don't understand what we just saw. And we sit here all week, and we break down strengths and weaknesses, and... They're definitely better and stronger across the board, but they haven't found a way to put things together. And, you know, you get 30 minutes at the half. It's time to give the, you know, rally the troops speech and get everybody going and, and try to understand that you got to come out in the second half and you can't be flat. You can't take this opponent for granted because you've already dug yourself a pretty big hole through the first half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Number 23. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. South Carolina's a team on a mission right now, it appears. They have put up 20 points in a row. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Play fake and looking to run. And he is drilled at the 31. They're about four yards away here on second down. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. In the shotgun and five wideouts. 
slings it. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. six-yard pass. Heads-up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. That's a deep That makes it second and two. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And he's tackled around the 20-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 20-yard line, first down. Fires it out, brought down at the 13-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. That'll make it second and four. Black five! Bumba! It's scooped up by the offense. to about the eight-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and goal. They're at the eight. Second down. Black five. Easy, easy. Nice run up the middle. This is the 12th play of this drive. Touchdown, Gamecocks. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 12-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Gamecocks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 49-yard line. Number seven makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. And they'll get him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Got a man, watch out here. He's out of bounds at the 37-yard line. I like the call here, looking for the big fella here on third down. They have a lot of faith in him as a receiver. Right there, he showed you why. Here he goes. Makes it to the 24. 
Gain of 14 yards. First down. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back 11. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. From the 25 yard line, it's second down. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He gets it up and it's long enough and it's wide right. No good. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field and he led a great drive last time out. Play action. He'll scramble. About eight yards there on the scramble. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. That's three down and one to go. South Carolina is in front by 20. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. I got number 23. I got you, 23. Black five. Makes it out to about the 43. From the 43 yard line, first down. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Field. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Go ahead, two, go! He's in trouble. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. Brad, I love the way the defense is flying around right now and hitting people. This looked like an easy catch for the running back out of the backfield, but a big hit right here could really start to create some energy for the defense. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a deep. That'll make it second and four. Quick out to his receiver. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 18-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Hey, check, check back 11. Check back 11. Yeah. You don't want none. Quick pass, and they make the stop at the 16-yard line. 
Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 16. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. He's got it with room to run. He steps out around the 31-yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They go back to him on a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Number 20 on the tackle at the 46-yard line. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. Number 27 makes the tackle at the 42-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's hit and taken down. They come out on an empty backfield. A little toss across the middle. He's tackled right around the 12 yard line. And a quick throw. And he's tackled at about the five-yard line. Number 11 on the tackle at the five-yard line. That makes it second and two. This is the 13th play of this drive. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's going to be sacked. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. That's a great tackle at the six-yard line. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth, and I'm sure they're happy with the result. Let's go, and he adds the extra point. He's taken down at the 39. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. 
The Zips will use their first time out of the hat. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. They'll give it off here. They go to the left for a nice game. The Zips use their second time out. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. After a decent run up the gut. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. Man, left, man, left. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 47. Check by 47. Dog four. Blue. Gets to about the 17-yard line. That's a game of three on the day. That'll make it third and nine. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 27-14, South Carolina. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.